and electric brake controls, and installation of trailer accessories with locations in Ocala and Ormond Beach to serve all of Central Florida. Call 1-888-622-1816. Again, that's 1-888-622-1816. Five minutes after 8 o'clock, 81 degrees already, believe it or not. 87, the expected high, not getting a whole lot warmer than it already is. And there is an, a 60% chance we'll see rain this afternoon, and it should last until later this afternoon, maybe even into the evening. I don't think that's part of that system they keep telling us about from Georgia. I wonder if Galen is up in Georgia right now. Oh, yeah, I Says wonder. where he was going yesterday. He's on the phone. Galen, you know from Life South Community Blood Center. Good morning, Galen. How you doing? Hey, good morning, Larry Robin. How are y'all? Good. Where are you today? Where are you? Still in Georgia. Yeah? yeah. Atlanta? It's beautiful here. I mean, yeah. Yeah? Still in Atlanta, and uh, it's beautiful here. I mean, not a cloud in the sky. Beautiful here, too. Did you drive through rain? No. No? No, I mean, no. I, I was kind of shocked, you know, because yeah. in keeps... the afternoon I drove up and southeast it usually rains yeah they keep talking about uh this this thing coming down into the gulf but there's nothing on the screen it doesn't show you anything i don't know but anyway so hey today we have a, a really good thing for you it's it's questions but these are not just questions that you can say i don't know to in fact you have to bs us this is the bs test so, <laughs> so, so the whole idea is if you know the answer great you tell it if you don't know it, we can't. You can't let on that you don't know. You gotta just just answer it, okay? That's the fun of this one. Yeah, but we'll see where this goes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know how this is different than any other show that we do. Um, <laughs> well, see what happens. Funny line. Funny line. Oh, by the way, uh, Tristan, your son, was in here yesterday with uh, <laughs> several of his other basketball guys. And they're looking yeah. looking for sponsors, so I want to yep. spread the word for anybody who wants to sponsor the basketball team. You want to give them a pitch for for the listeners um, if they want yeah, to. Yeah, you, you, you know um, Vanguard High School. It uh, you know it's a it's a it's a program that we're kind of trying to rebuild and and um, you know make it back to the program it's been in the past. And um, we're we're just trying to get funding so that you know it's less money out of the players' pockets and the parents' pockets and just so we can get them uniforms and, and gear and everything else that they need in order to compete this season. So, yeah, we're looking for sponsors, and, you know, they start at 25 bucks. So we, we love any support we can get. You can, you can email me, good, bad, or indifferent. I'm in charge of the Booster Club. So you can, you can uh, email, it, email me at gwunold at gmail.com or just ask Robin. She's got all my info. Yes, I do. All right. I have so, everything. So if you want to sponsor, we go through you. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, that's correct. And the sponsor, yeah. it looks really reasonable. It looks like a, a couple hundred dollars, and you get a, a banner up on the on the wall of the gym. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, and, and again, what we're trying to do is just get the community involved in, in, you know, in, in our program, and uh, it, it's, it's something that's desperately needed by these kids. So, And, it, and it, every dollar goes directly back into the program. So there's no there's no fee that goes on top. That it doesn't it goes to the basketball program specifically. All right, nice. That's a, that's a good thing. And, then, and they, they were so sweet. They came in here. Robin actually did the talking, but I, I could see them through the window. That they look shy. They look a little like, yeah. oh my gosh, are we supposed oh, to walk no. in there? But Robin welcomed them with open arms. <laughs> ne mentioned well, you, of course. You know, I, yeah, I, I haven't <laughs> talked to my son since. So I, I was I was wondering, you know, uh, what, where they went. I didn't even know they went to the mall. So, yeah, yeah, they they were four Just young men. Shy. Yeah, well, your son and, and his three friends, they were four young men, and they were uh, shy, but they were very personable. They they all smiled and uh, looked like they were having a fun time. So you really have a, a great group there, the four that we saw and mm -hmm. talked to. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, they, they, they like each other. They hang out with each other. So, but that's. That's good. So did you, but yeah, but, when you were in, in high school, did your father or mother put a can of deodorant in your gym bag? <laughs> uh, you, you, well, yeah. And what was yeah. the brand? What was the I brand? Had brute. Brute? Was brute did. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. You know, but it, it's crazy. But Tristan, he carries a, he's so paranoid because he went through this phase where you know, he was he was growing. He was putting off these pheromones, and he stunk so bad. <laughs> and like he he would he would I'm not kidding. He would get out of the shower. Oh no! Get dressed, walk into the kitchen. I'm like, oh my god, you stink! 
And so, and he would be like, I don't know what else to do. And so he got into uh, Old Spice. So he is an Old Spice guy. <laughs> and he'll, he'll put deodorant on six or seven times a day. <laughs> Good man. <Yeah. laughs> it's the uh, uh, body chemistry. I mean, you never know what's going to work until you try oh. all the different things. And then all of a sudden it's like, voila, there it is. This is mine. But yeah, well, it was like a six-month period where he could have, he could have literally taken a bath in lavender, <laughs> stepped out and stunk. I mean, and I told him, I said, "Look, man, it's just hormones." Well, you know, because he could, it was so bad he could smell it himself. Oh, and, poor guy! And, and you know what that is? Right. They already yeah. take a bunch of showers. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, I know what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? So, I know. I, not only did I go through it, but I, I went into the boys' gymnasium locker room. That's where it was all. It was all hot. It was all <laughs> stuck in there. Yeah. But, but I don't think Kevin uh, and Heidi like so, me asking the question. So, I, I asked both of them, what kind of deodorant did you use in high school? <laughs> <laughs> I think Kevin. Did you really? Yeah, I think Kevin said right guard, didn't he? Yeah, I think he said right guard. Yeah. yeah. Well, right guard was really big when you know there weren't that many options. Now there's like 752 <laughs> flavors. Yeah, there's a lot of options. But what you didn't, but what you didn't want to do, speed stick was the was a popular brute, and then right guard. The problem with right guard, it was a spray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if yeah. you brought it and you broke it out. The whole locker room used it before you got it back. <laughs> you, know, you you wanted to stick, and I remember that. And and uh, I I got the brute. I don't know, and it, it stunk because you'd walk out of like the middle school gym at Fort King. And, oh God! Back then they made you take a shower. So yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you ready to uh, test your BS skills? Yeah. All right. Well, first of all, where, how's the blood supply? I know you know the answer to that one. Yeah, we're we're still at that two and a half day blood supply. You know, we we kind of always expect July fourth to be a good day, within a really crappy week. But this weather has been just horrendous to our blood supply because less people went to the fireworks, um, and and less people are out and about, and you know nobody comes to the blood mobile when it's raining. But we just need people to fight through that rain and give blood. There's people in the hospital that are fighting for their lives. The least we can do is get a little wet. So please just give the gift of life and donate blood. Yeah, I think yesterday's program really was effective. Uh, if you heard yeah. yesterday's program, it was the Nat International, what was it again? The Recipient Appreciation Day. Yes. Blood, blood Donor. Don blood, yeah. blood Recipient yeah. Appreciation Day. That was, uh, that, that, I think I was thinking about that poem all day long, that girl's Oh, yeah, poem. she was, that was so touching. It gave me chills. All right, um, so this is where I ask questions, and Galen has to answer them. He cannot say, I do not know, okay? So it doesn't have, It may not be true, so I don't want listeners saying, hey, he got it wrong, because it doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is where you test the BS skills, okay? Ready, Galen? Love it. Why do, cats, it. Why do cats climb into boxes? Well, I, I think that's a pretty obvious answer. First of all, they just don't like humans. And so it separates them from humans. And, and it's just another kingdom that they can rule. Uh, I mean, I, I thought everybody knew that. A, a cat likes its box. Whether that's inside the house because they own the house. Or, or they are just, you know, want to get away from you. A kingdom they can rule. I love that answer. That's great. All right. um, let's see. Why do we sleep? Well, again, I sleep sometimes just to get away from, from the rest of the world. It's almost my box. Yeah, sleep is our box. That's good. Have you, and this is true. Have you ever just like, you know what? Today's been, I've had too much. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> no, I have. I'm good at that, actually. Have you ever done that? Like, it's like 7.30, you know, and you're like, no, I'm done. You know what? I'm not even tired, but I'm just going to bed because you know, I can't take anymore. They should make sleep a sport because I think I'd be good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sleep really quick. Just well, how would you how would you judge it? How much you roll over? I guess whoever goes to sleep snore? first. Whitler is out. He's winning. <laughs> <laughs> Whitler is asleep. <laughs> He wins. Well, no, they would have to have a, like a monitor. Whoever gets to rim sleep first, <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. Yeah, whoever yeah. can wake up and describe their dreams. Oh, there you go. Different categories. I love that. Hmm. 
When did we start doing gender reveal parties? This is a when question. Oh, when did we start doing that? You know, the first one I heard of, my nephew did one, and I said, well, what do you mean? <laughs> don't, don't you just get a little... Don't, yeah, that's I, I, I said, what do you mean? Don't you just get like a little black and white piece of paper that's printed on fax paper, and you just stick that in their book, and that's their first picture of you? What do you mean, reveal? What, are we all supposed to go and watch the sonogram together? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's confusing. And, and he lived... And he lives in Atlanta, and he's like, well, are you going to come up there? I'm like, for what? I know what sex your baby is. Can't you just tell me? Uh, I mean. All right. So uh, and, the- and it's like an all-day thing. If this party was like six hours. And you had to bring a present, I bet. Oh, I didn't go. Oh. We, we, yeah, but, but you know what? They, they, had a, they were registered. And oh. I and I and I said, "Hey, is this is this like instead of the shower?" <laughs> it's like, "No, no, no, no. You will, that'll be later." I'm like, oh my gosh! Oh, this is a good scam. <laughs> that I agree. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> well, it's a new thing, apparently. Now, I, now I don't even now I don't even think you can have a gender reveal party because gender gender is a social construct. So. <laughs> Touche. Well, uh, along that line, the next question is: How did the colors blue and pink get assigned to boys and girls? How'd that happen? Well, I have no idea. I mean, I, <laughs> you can't I, I, answer. I, it's one of God's mysteries. You gotta, you gotta BS us. Something to do with the sky. You gotta... It's probably has something to do with the sky and the sun. And I have no idea. I've I... never given that any thought whatsoever. I think it's the artist because he painted Blue Boy, right? Oh, I don't and know. Then, and then he painted the other person with, with the lady with the pink parasol. Don't ask. So. You have to answer. Remember, this is the BS time. Okay. You, you just answer as if you're oh, sure. That sounds sure. really good. I don't know if that's true or not, but that sounds really we good. Just, just say it. Is it for that answer? Just, we're, we're just giving answers. Come on. <laughs> All right, uh, I've never heard of the pink lady. Is there really like a pink girl? <laughs> yeah, yeah. there's a pink lady with a Southern Belle outfit with a pink parasol. She's companion to My parents to had Blue a picture Boy. of the blue boy mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was like this is a, this is, where'd you get this thing is <laughs> when they moved out of their house they're like you want this I'm like no it's not like an original <laughs> why, why would I want to hang that thing up there <laughs> alright ready for the next one remember your answer is if you know why do squirrels chase each other <laughs> well they're tired of taking too many showers um <laughs> This is hard. This is hard to answer this these great. questions. I love this. I thought that was pretty funny, though. <laughs> that's good. Um, yeah. That was, a, that was a continuation. That's joke. right. That's good. That's when you do good to that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Are left-handed people also left-footed? Yeah. My son's left-handed and left-footed. Oh, really? Yep. So he kicks a football with his yeah. left foot. Okay. Yeah. That would make sense. Okay. Um, why are there 13 in a baker's dozen? Well, because it's a bonus. You know, it's 10% free. <laughs> or whatever that turns out to be. 10% free. You know, I, I really believe it's because that's how many fit in a box. <laughs> I, I don't think the box, you know, they, the, the baker had a box and he goes, look, I got space for one more. <laughs> Boom, 13. I'm not selling my... my uh, how much does it cost to make a donut? Less than a penny? <laughs> Probably, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's market value. All right, why are there so many shapes of pasta? <laughs> <laughs> they all taste different, Larry. Do they? They all hold the sauces differently. Absolutely. Well, that part is true. Your, your, your elbow tastes different than your linguine. <laughs> yes, it does. You know, it, it's, and it holds the pasta. You don't want... You you wouldn't want to have macaroni and cheese with linguine. Then it would be called Alfredo. All right, let's see. Why do we call the flapping men's boxers the morning glory hall? <laughs> well, I thought Robin was going to answer this. Um, <laughs> this is more up her line. <laughs> Why do we do that? <laughs> Well, if you've ever worn them to bed and rolled over. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Um, <laughs> why is denim blue? Why is denim and blue? And that's, that's when your day starts off really well. <laughs> <laughs> really? 
<laughs> really? Oh, God. Can't you control that thing? Not really. No. No. All right, let's, oh. let's get it over with. My day starting in 10 minutes. Well, I wish. That would be fine. Be a good day. Usually it's like, oh, my God. <laughs> Go back to bed or something. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> or then she tells me to go take a shower. <laughs> We're just blowing off the next question. We're, just, we're stuck on that one. I think that one got us. We're, just, we're spinning our wheels now, Robin. <laughs> well, you started it, Larry. It's your fault. It's on the questionnaire here. Oh, hypothetical. It's, it's, oh, it's going to be included on the census. They want to make this one a, a census question. <laughs> Imagine, are you a citizen? Yes. <laughs> Can't ask that, Larry. Can't ask it. Before the invention of the light bulb, what did prostitutes you to ad- use to advertise themselves? <laughs> Go ahead and say that one more time, Larry. Much slower. <laughs> what was the, the question? Before yeah. the invention of the light bulb, why did prostit- How did prostitutes advertise themselves? Oh, because it wasn't. There was no red light. Um. Well, they wore red-colored clothing. <laughs> you know? There you go. That makes sense. I think that's uh, well documented. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> Why is gasoline point nine cents at the end? Well, because it uh, they want to get the most they can. <laughs> point nine. It's just like everything. It's ninety nine. Yeah, but this is ninety nine point nine. It's not as good as the. Uh, that's crazy. Boxer short. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why does a girl's bicycle have the missing crossbar from the handlebar to the seat? <laughs> have you ever ridden a bike? You would think that, it would, well, one, it's so they could sit side saddle. <laughs> oh, so they can Grant, sit. I don't know how in the world you're pedaling. <laughs> like, if you're wearing a dress and everything, it doesn't hang over on the Oh, I got you. It's for the oh, dress. Boy. Oh, yeah, there so the you skirt. go. That, that's, that's actually the real answer. That does sound real, But yeah. it really should be reversed. When you're riding a bike... I'm with you. I thought this many times. Any length of time... I hear you. ...has caught themselves on that bar. <laughs> 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 so, so, <laughs> really great stories. And so when we were growing up, you know, you're always trying to jump something. I think mean, men... They, you give them anything, they're going to try to do something extreme with it. <laughs> right, right, and so we had this, it, there was this, this woods, and we built like a, a motocross track. And so I was going around it really fast, and I went over this jump, and the seat collapsed downward. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. You know, where, yeah. and it was the front I know. went forward, and the back went up, and I just stood right into the bar. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, you're, you're done for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not moving. <laughs> but all your friends laughed, too. I bet See. you they didn't even sympathize. Right, oh, yeah. They're like, and, and then you're, and then you're, I was going really fast, and, you know, you get the speed wobbles. You can't breathe. Yeah. <laughs> Why do dolphins look like they're smiling? They are. They're happy. <laughs> you know? Even the dead one. Have you ones ever seen happy. a sad dolphin? No. No. No, they but don't you, exist. But you know what I saw yesterday? I want you to go to the grocery store and tell me if you see this. I saw a sad piece of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It was sad. It's sitting on the edge of the bowl. I just need to turn it over. It's sitting on the edge of the bowl looking at the rest of them. And he's looking like, oh, my God, (laughs) my friends are all going to be eaten. Yeah, that was sad. (laughs) That was that they got to fix their covers, General Mills. I've never felt empathy for a box of cereal. (laughs) 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 Uh, Why do we eat cake on birthdays? Well, (laughs) it has to be somehow affiliated with Marie Antoinette, you know, let them eat cake on their birthday. Oh, my gosh. Um, Why are traffic lights green, yellow, and red? 
don't know. <laughs> that doesn't, I don't know. Well, I think we got to the end of. I think we. I, I, I don't. I mean, I, I, I have we, nothing for that. I think we've ex- exhausted the BS factor. Right? We've exhausted it. <laughs> I think it should be opposite because the matadors have the red capes, and that makes the bulls <clears throat> charge and everything. You know, the flapping. So. It's really opposite of what we do with cars. We got to stop on. So that. how did we stop before the invention of the light bulb? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they had the. Uh, remember, they had the reflective paint because they would put glass in the paint. I have no idea. Where <laughs> that up. Yeah, well, good. It's it's the BS day. <laughs> all right, uh, all right, good stuff. Um, hey, well, you know, they made it out of plastic, Larry. You know, because before <laughs> we had electricity, we had plastic. <laughs> so they told me that. Somebody, somebody was like, oh, well, plastic's been around forever. I'm like, no, it hasn't. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. It has, and I'm like, no. <laughs> all right, so pop- no, nobody talks about all the Bakelite that's in the ocean. No. <laughs> No, well, you're have you heard? Right. Have you heard about this new like algae that's floating around called sargasm? No, I haven't. Okay, it's yeah, I it's, am, it's in the news every, like the last couple of days. S a r g a s s u m. It sounds like it's a, not called sargasm, is it really? I'm yeah, telling. It, it sounds like sargasm. a sarcastic orgasm. Sargasm. Yeah, we looked it up. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, can you have one of those? Is that possible? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I can imitate it. I mean, it. not for a man. Not for a man. Oh, I can imitate it. I know how to do a sargasm. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, like a real one. <laughs> yeah. That's where you, that's where you oh, go. Okay. Oh, that's good. Oh, that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> You're a man. You don't really care. It's better than taking a shower. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you looking up sargasm? Is that what you're doing? Uh, no, I, I just wanted to make sure we were pronouncing it right, but we were sargasm. Oh, I know it's. I yeah. know I did my my <laughs> yeah. research on it. Yeah, you played it. On the <laughs> don't, don't question Larry on his pronunciation. <laughs> oh no, you can. But in that particular one, I, I had to look it up because I thought this got to no, be. He's gonna, next thing you know, he's going to play like the Icelandic <laughs> volcano over and over and over. Again. <laughs> oh, I lost that when the computer failed. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I lost oh, that's it. Too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you're doing that's, a great I'm thing, really Galen. You do a great thing, Galen, for the blood uh, community to uh, uh, solicit blood donors. And you're also doing a great thing coaching the uh, students and the basketball team and trying to gather funds so they have a great basketball year. Yeah. Yeah, we go. Well, you know, and I wanted them to do it themselves so they have a little, they understand that the value of, you know, anything they receive that, you know, they, they have to have a little involvement, a little sweat equity into it. I, I'm a. I'm a big believer that you should not get anything free in this world. You have to earn it. So So Vanguard Knights is what they call the basketball team, just mm-hmm. like the football team, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. Uh, that's a, a great lesson you're teaching the children because it took a lot of courage to come in here to, you know, talk to somebody to ask for something. Well, I, 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 the coach didn't give them a choice. I give the coach a choice. <laughs> uh, I want to make a real quick uh, shout out to Palm Garden of Ocala and Penn Flooring. The two businesses are the sponsors of Galen's Daily Reminder that without donors, there is no blood supply. So go out and donate blood. We have fun on this segment, and hopefully that is you know extended to you guys. Hopefully you have fun with it, uh, especially the box of shorts part of this. <laughs> I'm going to be thinking about that all day. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, hey, so is Larry. Uh, hey, oh yeah, I, I definitely will be thinking about it. Just a different game. Too. <laughs> uh, go to Palm Garden of Ocala, take a tour, and see why we recommend them for your health needs. Whether it's rehabilitative, therapeutic, uh, end of life care, uh, maybe it's a rehabilitation after an accident or some kind of surgery. They can take care of you, and you will enjoy your stay as much as anybody could. It's 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 a really beautiful facility. Great food. Great activities. Palm Garden of Ocala, 2700 Southwest 34th Street. And Penn Flooring puts the flooring into this, put the flooring into this studio, and it's looking as good as it did the first day. Go see what you can do for your home or office. Make it more beautiful from the floor up at 1201 Southwest 17th Street. 1201 Southwest 17th. All right, now where's the Bloodmobile today? Hey, Bloodmobile today, we're out at uh, D2 Fabrication, which is out in Oxford, um, one of our favorite drives. And we're also at the Walmart out there in the villages on Wedgwood Lane. But we're right here downtown Ocala, right on the boulevard. Been there for nearly 30 years now. So nobody comes in anymore and asks for pies, which is a good thing. Uh, <laughs> come in and, and ask about uh, blood donations. And, 
just please share yourself and give the gift of life and donate blood. And if you want to support the Vanguard Knights, Knights, right? Yes. Basketball team, yep. contact Galen. What's your email again? GWUnold at gmail.com. Or just call Robin. Yeah, we that, got all the stuff a good here. Idea. That's a good idea. I can email you Galen's information. All right, be careful up there yeah. in Atlanta, Galen. Yeah, you guys are the best. Thanks, y'all. Hey, we'll be right back. This is WOCAO Callen. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. Fox News, I'm Chris Foster. The United Kingdom's ambassador to the U.S., Kim Derrick, was disinvited to a White House dinner last night, but Prime Minister Theresa May says he has her full support. This after an embarrassing leak in which confidential memos revealed the ambassador had described the Trump administration as inept and dysfunctional. He's a fine public servant. Britain's Trade Secretary Liam Fox, who's visiting Washington, backing the ambassador but condemning the leak. Fox's Simon Owen in London. President Trump on Twitter says we'll no longer deal with that ambassador, and the good news is that Great Britain will have a new prime minister soon with May stepping down. Former President Bill Clinton says he flew on Jeffrey Epstein's plane four times and had two other meetings with him, but knew nothing about the child sex trafficking crimes Epstein's accused of. U.S. Attorney in New York Jeff Berman says Epstein shouldn't get bail. He has uh, every incentive to try and flee the jurisdiction. The bail hearing is on Monday. This is Fox News. Napa know-how. At Napa Auto Parts stores and Napa Auto Care centers, get a $25 prepaid Visa card when you get any Napa automotive battery. It's the best deal for some of the best batteries from some of the best car people around. But we might be a little partial. Anywho, pick up any Napa automotive battery and save $25. Do it yourself or have it done for you. That's Napa know-how. Napa know-how. At participating Napa Auto Parts stores and Napa Auto Care centers. While supplies last, offer ends 831.19. Pros do it right by grabbing everything you need in one stop so you're spending more time on the job site than away from it. Lowe's is here to help by stocking job lot quantities of treated lumber, fencing, and decking so you can load up on what you need no matter how big the job. Plus, for your next paint job, stop in and get five-gallon pails of Valspar ceiling paint for just $99. Whatever you need to do the job right, do it right for less. Start with Lowe's. Paint offer valid through 724, U.S. only. Here is your one-minute news brief. The Hurricane Center says a tropical depression is likely to form in the Gulf of Mexico by the end of the week. The Ocala JCs have announced that they will no longer host God and Country Day on the 4th of July. A one-year-old girl apparently slipped from her grandfather's hands and fell to her death from the 11th story of a cruise ship docked in Puerto Rico. The Lake City City Council has now changed their minds about an earlier decision for the next election to be by mail-in ballot only. U.S. officials have taken over the investigation of a Bahamas helicopter crash that killed billionaire coal magnate Chris Klein and six other people. A fire at a SpaceX facility in Florida caused damage to equipment, but no injuries were reported. A passenger on a chartered jet that skidded into a river at a Florida military base is suing Miami Air International. And Grand Destino Tower is the newest addition to Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. The tower, which officially opens today, includes two rooftop dining locations. And that is your news brief from The Source. Johnny, what are you doing in the bathroom? What are you saying? Wait, where are your toy cars? Oh no, tell me you did. Honey, call Mike Scott Plumbing. I didn't do anything. For once, that's true. But little Johnny flushed his toys down the toilet. Now it's broke. Yes, I mean, oh no. I'll get the phone. What's the toll-free number? 866-314-4443. Got it. 866-314-4443. Four 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 three. Mike Scott Plumbing. If water runs through it, Woo-hoo! they do it. Now attention passengers for flight 1370. The plane has been delayed at its departure point and will be at least two hours late. We apologize for any inconvenience. Are you serious? It took us over an hour to get here, two hours going through security and getting our tickets, and now we have to wait another two hours. Yeah, it's beautiful here, but we're inside this overcrowded airport all day because the plane is stuck in bad weather. This is the last time we ever do this. When we get back, we're going to Cal Aviation and getting our pilot's license. Yeah. 
We've been talking about that long enough. It's about time we did it. Then we could just fly ourselves and never have to deal with this mess again. Right. No long lines, no full body groping security, no baggage checks. Not to mention never losing your luggage. Remind me again why we haven't done that? Well, we're idiots. Oh, right. Uh, attention all passengers for flight 1370. It looks like the plane is going to be delayed a little bit longer. The airline has lost the pilot's luggage. Isn't it time you got your pilot's license? Call Ocala Aviation today. 352-861-7484. That's 352-861-7484. Hey, you've earned it. Call today. Visit Southeastern Trailers today. We have new and used enclosed cargo and open utility trailers along with built-to-order trailers. We service all brands of cargo and utility trailers, installation of hitches, wiring and electric brake controls, and installation of trailer accessories with locations in Ocala and Ormond Beach to serve all of Central Florida. Call 1-888-622-1816. Again, that's 1-888-622-1816. PPIR is a networking group formed to serve the realtor and small business community. It primarily serves the real estate and construction industry, but is open to all businesses that provide any service or product to the real estate business community. PPIR has no membership dues or fees for attendees. The watchwords are keep it simple and maximize networking time. PPIR chapters meet three times monthly at different locations after normal business hours. For information on this, call 